it's really just a quick and simple one and it's gonna be great for your winter decorating. I say winter, anybody else out there that loves to be able to decorate more timeless, not necessarily specific for holidays, but things that you can put up and it spans a long time. So for this project, you're gonna need just some quick cutouts. You can find these in the wooden section. You guys can cut them out yourself if you have that ability. You can find something similar. You can find metal ones, wooden ones, like I said, painted or unpainted ones. Just find some really cool decor shapes that make you happy and that float your boat, as I like to say. So the other thing we're gonna use tonight is some canvas. So if you go to Wally World, if you go to, of course, Walmart and you go to the craft section, you can find they have a lot of stretch canvases and actually they're relatively cheap. You don't have to pay a lot for them. Sometimes you hit them on sale. Use your coupon if you're going to Michael's or Joanne Fabrics or another art store in your area. That's a great way to save as well. So I have actually picked myself a, up a bundle. I get this set of four at Walmart and I think it's somewhere around six, seven dollars for four. So you can break that down. It really doesn't cost a lot. The other thing I'm gonna to use tonight is a bunch of my favorite Junk Monkey paint colors. So we have got Be My Honey, who out there has tried some lovely Be My Honey. We've got Woodland Fairy. Oh my gosh, if this does not scream like a nice winter seasonal color, I don't know what does. We got some Liberty Blue because you know, we got some snowflakes going on, so we're gonna need some blue. We've got some, this is antique lace that I picked. I went and grabbed one of my light colors, my neutral. So you can use white, you can use like a cream color you have or something like that. We're also gonna use our smoky coal. So what we're gonna do is put a little bit of our smoky coal and a little bit of our antique lace together. And very lightly, we're gonna go back and forth over this canvas to create a really cool background, all right? So the paints blend really nice together and as long as you go and keep them, like the colors wet together, you will get a beautiful, cool, rustic background that is so easy. If that was a piece of furniture, that would be a very easy technique to do on a drawer, a top, or whatnot, all right? So let's go ahead and we're gonna put that out here and let it dry in front of us, just like that. Let's do one more as well. So here we go. So we're gonna put these to the side and let them dry. Again, this is just a quick 20, 30 minute flip. It's really not gonna take a whole lot of time at all. So let's break open this as well. Okay, now I'm gonna do like a, a blue color. So I'm thinking a snowflake. So let's do some Liberty Blue and a little bit of our antique lace together. And now, and there's a little bit of gray still left on this paintbrush that will eventually just completely disappear. So again, I'm gonna straighten up my lines a little bit, going with a smaller brush so I can get smaller, just a smaller weathered look, like it's not so thick with a big wide brush. And there you go, you can add in as much white as you want. Like for example, I'm gonna go back into the, the antique lace just to show you that as long as you keep your paints on a wet edge, meaning that they're still wet, the Junk Monkey paint will blend really, really nice for you. How about we do some Be My Honey since we have it out. We have time to lay down some more colors here real quick. I do like that. So there we go. Got a little bit of blue, a little bit of the antique lace, and the Be My Honey, which is super, super cool. 
Oh, I was thinking about the star when I did this, so maybe having some of the, the um, you know, be my honey. And maybe we'll do one more. What do you guys think? You think I should do the Woodland Fairy? Hmm? That'd be cool, huh? I think maybe I will. All right, we're gonna go into Woodland Fairy, but this time I'm gonna go into the black with it as well. I think it's interesting when you um, add some lights and darks into your painting because think about when you get your hair done, right? You got highlights and you got low lights and that's what gives it dimension. So by doing a blend of a couple colors versus doing one solid color on the back, it really makes it interesting. Or like that. See how that's shaping up. Or like that. Look how nice that came out. Ooh, isn't that pretty? I like how too, you know, just as you dip in your brush, like the sides are a little bit lighter. Do you see that? This one turned out really cool. And that's what's nice that when you do these with everybody, everybody's will look different, just depending on like how much color they use, the color that they use. At this point now, we've got to let them all dry, okay? So let's see here, I do have my heat gun. Let's go ahead and plug it in real quick. Okay, I think we are good right there. I am somebody who loves um, shabby style. I love distressed style. That's probably why I picked up a lot of these cutouts. It's because they were already distressed for me. I won't be painting over them. I love them as they are. But also know, for me, I always keep uh, sand pads close to me. I am not afraid to distress a canvas, just really lightly. Perfect, right? Beautiful back backdrops for our cutouts that have already done the work for us. So these are our deer. And so next what I would do is actually just grab some, I would grab some uh, glue. So I have a glue gun, but I also have this kind of glue as well. This is my favorite glue that I've come to find. I also like Gorilla Glue, but the only thing is I ran into <laughs> sometimes foams. with bubbles and it foams. Oh man, I've had to Dremel tool it out. Anybody else ever deal with that? So we'll put that deer on there. Now, because this is canvas, it can bend in just a little bit. So honestly, ooh, just stay here and hold it for at least 30 seconds together. So that way it will actually make connection for you. So there's that one right there. And then we're gonna do the other one real quick. Oh dear. All right, let's just drop that down. All right, so this has gotta make connection and do the dry thing. So don't try to disturb it. Don't hold them off because they will slide off. You just got to do it and let it sit, okay? So the other ones here, while these are drying, I guess I could kind of show you what I was thinking as those dry, is that the Be My Honey, I was thinking that that would be so cool to do the same sort of effect and put my star right over the top of it. We're gonna let this dry, drop it on. I'm gonna do some edging here in just a second on our rustic reindeer. But I was thinking that would be a really cool one for the star. And we could do a star set, right? But I have a star and an angel that I was gonna consider maybe being one set. And then I also have, and here is our angel right here. This would be a really cool one. How sweet would that be together right there? I think that would be absolutely adorable. And so again, it's like blocks, right? But if you don't wanna cut blocks, just go get the canvases. It's so much, honestly, easier and get them on sale. Let me push that up there just a little bit. So there is our angel. And then I was thinking uh, for the snowflake, I think a blue, how about you guys? So then I was thinking about doing a set because I do have two of these, up oh, there's the other one over there, and putting two together. And wouldn't that be sweet? Because if you put them side by side, if you have a small wall, if you have a little buffet, put two of them together or a couple of them together, it would be so sweet. And you can use any cutouts that you want. So you know what, when you go to your favorite stores and they have a dollar section of the cutouts, go and find whatever you want. You just have to build your background, make it interesting to really make it much more of a bigger piece, right? And really pull it together. And now what I'm gonna do is just kind of frame it out a little bit. So all I have to do is take my Junk Monkey paint, I put my uh, brush on an angle, and now I have a beautiful frame for my little reindeer. And ain't she sweet right there. That way it just makes it feel more finished. It's like anything I always say, when you put a picture in a frame, right? 
So just by doing a little bit of that edging, now we have a beautiful reindeer piece of decor, but we don't have one, just one, we have two. So let's do the same thing. Here's a quick instant replay. So again, brush on an angle, and what we're gonna do is just put them into a frame. I hope it gives you lots of ideas for your winter decor, for your winter decorations. Did you enjoy this DIY? And are you going to do it?